Okay, the bike that we've got here today is uh, the Cipollini MCM. MCM standing for Mario Cipollini Custom Made. Well, kind of, we've lost a C somewhere in the mix there. Unlike most carbon bikes, this one isn't a carbon monocoque. It doesn't come fully made up out of a mold. Uh, rather, it's made using technique known as tube to tube, which, as it sounds like, you get the individual tubes. They're made from T800 carbon fiber. They're cut to length and then they're joined together uh, a little like uh, a, a metal bike is made. What's the advantage of doing things this way? I mean, it's more labor intensive, so why would you do it? Uh, well, the main thing is that you, although you can buy this bike off the peg, you can also buy it custom size. In other words, you could go to a bike fitter, for example, who will set you up on a static bike, get the dimensions and angles that you need. And then you take those measurements, you send them to Cipollini and they'll build the bike for you. So, for example, you might need a shorter top tube than is standard, or you might need a longer head tube than is standard. Uh, whatever it is you need, you send the details to Cipollini and they'll build the bike to your exact requirements. You wouldn't waste all that energy on us poor journalists. So this is a stock medium large frame uh, built to a race geometry. Um, so this one has got 470 millimeter seat tube, a 548 millimeter chop tube, and the head tube on this one's quite short at 143 millimeters. Uh, the seat angle is quite steep. I think it's uh, 73.8 degrees, uh, while the chain stays are short at 405 millimeters so the upshot of all that lot is that you can see from the start that this is a bike that's built with uh, racing or at least performance in mind uh, the down tube on this bike is enormous as you can see although the the walls are very thin if you can hear that uh, the the profile is is massive uh, reaching across pretty much the full width of the bottom bracket down there as on most performance-minded bikes these days, the head tube is uh, tapered. So you've got an inch and a quarter upper bearing and an inch and a half lower bearing. So it's pretty chunky up front. The fork that slots in there comes with straight skinny legs and the crown is integrated into the frame up there. Out back, you've got seat stays that are flattened. The idea there usually being to uh, allow a little bit of flexibility up down as, as you ride. And you can see that the seat tube is cut away very slightly around the leading edge of the rear wheel which allows Cipollini to, uh, to spec those short chain stays that I mentioned. The seat post is the same profile as the seat tube and uh, it uses a ghost clamp system which is a design that I've not seen before. So the seat post itself has got a slot in it and then a threaded metal piece goes up inside the seat post and two hex bolts here go through the seat tube through the slot in the seat post and attach that metal piece inside you can get a small amount of up down adjustability to the saddle but not as much as you get in a standard system but on the other hand if you've had the bike built to your exact requirements, you won't, you won't need much uh, adjustability. As you can see, this bike is built with standard rim brakes and the group set here is Shimano second tier Altegra with mechanical shifting. If you prefer, you can pay a little more and get the DI2 electronic shift version. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to Road CC if you haven't already. See you next time.